two times the hatred in this video on side delt exercises. All right, guys and girls, you know that of all the muscles, I feel extremely confident in teaching shoulders because that was a muscle that I didn't have when I started bodybuilding and I learned how to connect to and develop. So I take a lot of pride in teaching side and rear lateral form because I had to really spend years in the gym perfecting it so that I could begin to develop delts that I loved and looked even respectable as a bodybuilder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show two different side lateral exercise variations that I see people do in even top Olympians and I'm like, please God, throw those away. I don't understand them. So let's get into showing the two that I don't like. I'll show you four that I do like. All right, so the amount of influencers I see doing this right now is laughable. You take an easy bar or a, like a regular barbell and they're doing side raises. Like, yeah, that's definitely hitting my side delt, but the balance of that is beyond unnatural. And I know you probably couldn't hear it through the camera mic, but my shoulder actually popped on, that, on rep number one. So having to balance and stabilize this way, you can see like, even if I hold it tight, right? Like that's wanting to swing in my arm very unnaturally. And this is with 20 pounds. So if you figure, there's videos of me that Chaz got where I'm doing 50s in terms of dumbbells for South lateral. So with this one arm at a time, it's not time efficient, it feels awkward, and then it's just gonna eventually mess with my wrist if I go heavy enough because to have to stabilize that and get, as you guys know, the form that I like with elbow above wrist, it's just not good bang for your buck there. Next up, the plate side lateral. Now, we don't have those fancy handled plates like you see a lot of gyms. These are old school plates that Dwayne has. So this makes this even worse because I'm having to do a plate pinch and then get into the side lateral form. Now, this is 25 pounds. Those are beyond awkward and just feel weird. And I'm more focused about not dropping the weights on my feet than anything. So even though those feel okay to my side delt, it's just not what I would view as even remotely optimal. If that's all I had, let's say I was in a garage gym and all I had were a bar and plates, then that, that might be the only option that I have. But, and if you pan around this gym or watching my old videos, dear God, we have so much to play with in here. <laughs> I'm gonna show you four things right now that I would do in favor of both the things I just showed you. It's laughable I didn't have to show you this, but look, this is made for my hand. <laughs> See this, watch. Oh, that feels incredible. Delt's getting blown up. I'm not even remotely focused on my grip. <laughs> it's ridiculous that I have to make a video this basic. But I see so many people out there doing those first two exercises right now. And I'm just begging you, please, for the love of God, you have a dumbbell rack of multiple weights. Like we have weights here that go from two and a half to 180s. The fixed bars, what's he got? 20s to 110. And they go by 10 pound increments where the weights here go by five pound jumps all the way to 180. So please, I'm begging you, throw both of those exercises away in the trash. Think about plates, right? You would go 10s to 25s to 35s to 45s. I think in this gym total, he has like maybe five 35s. Because, you know, slight rant, 35s are useless. Throw them things in the garbage if you're a gym owner. No one needs them. If you can't lift the 45s, just get stronger. Okay, back on topic. These dumbbells, look at this. You see this handle? It is made for my hand. Grab it, use it. Next, let's go back to that garage gym example. Chris, I can't afford dumbbells. Awesome. You know how much does Elite FTS band cost? I think it's 495. Watch this, around my wrist, on my foot, and then here, bam, side lateral, right there. For $5, I have a set of 20 for side laterals here. But Chris, this is too easy. Get the red one, it might be six bucks. <laughs> so you can get probably every band from Lead FTS for less than you could one set of dumbbells. So if you're in a garage gym, do this, I'm telling you. It's incredible. This is what I would opt for. If I'm in a home gym with just bars and plates, here's my shoulder routine. And I'm gonna go band and side laterals, band pull aparts to get rolling. I'm gonna do barbell press. I'm probably gonna do a barbell upright row. And then I'm gonna come over and do all of my side and rear delt work with this band. And that may be the red band or the orange band, but that's exactly how I'm gonna structure shoulders. If I have nothing but bars, plates, and bands. Easy, at home shoulder workout that will get your delts around in full. All right, next up, if you have cables in your gym, look, single arm side lateral. That right there, this is one of my favorite delt exercises if you're having a trouble connecting to your side delt because you can really select the weight, it's smooth, it's an even strength, meaning with dumbbells, that strength curve is very different. With this, I get 30 pounds, 20 pounds, 40 pounds from start to finish. So with this, it's so smooth, I can manipulate where my hand goes. It just feels incredible. So exercise number three, all day long, 
the cable side lateral one arm in time. Fourth and final one, I realize that not every gym has a side lateral machine, but I would say probably 50% of the gyms I've been to have one. So this would be my fourth option for replacing the plate or the easy bar barbell side lateral. One, it locks me in, it feels great. I can do partials on it, I can do full range of motion, I can do ISO holds, it just feels great. In addition, it has tons of weights. Like I think this one right here goes from 30 pounds to 200 pounds. And I'm able to adjust, progress, get bigger, better shoulders by working down that stack with different ranges of motion. Plus, the great thing about this is it locks me in. If I want to keep my chin up and my traps down, it's an excellent exercise for my side delts. So there you have it, guys. Four superior options to the two trash exercises I showed you to start. So with all these videos I've ever shot about bad exercises, what I always want to think about is there's probably no exercises that I would consider bad. There's just ones that are better or significantly better options for muscle growth. And that's how I've always looked at them. Like there are things in here that I just choose not to do. For example, I mean, and I'll go down a, a quick little example of what I'm talking about here. A dumbbell squat, holding weight right here versus a hat squat, it still hits my quads. I can manipulate my feet, but the hat squat, I don't have to worry about holding that weight up there. So I'm never gonna opt for that when I can go get on a hat squat and put six plates on it and trash it. So with these, I realize that some people don't have as many options as I do at the four different gyms that I go to to train at, but most places are gonna have dumbbells. And all day long, if I'm hitting my side delts, if all I had was dumbbells, I would do standing and I would do seated side laterals. And you can even throw in some Y races if you wanted to. So if you wanna trash your side delt, do these four options that I showed you and throw away those first two. If you like this video, guys, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, Chris on the CV.